My name is Dr. Harry Lockstadt. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon in Lexington, Kentucky at Bluegrass Orthopedics. Some of the most challenging problems that we see are those related to the sacroiliac joint. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about that today. The sacroiliac joint is located in the pelvis. The sacroiliac joint links the iliac bones or the pelvic bones to the sacrum. This also has a very limited amount of motion. Like any other joint in the body, wear and tear can occur and the joint can wear out. We call this degeneration. Common symptoms that are associated with sacroiliac joint pain include severe lower back pain. The pain is in the lower part of the back and very often into the thigh. The patient describes a deep ache deep inside the thigh that may even go into the knee and into the leg. Patients have extreme difficulty with sleeping. They can't get their leg up or move around because of the severe pain that's caused. They can't sit very long. They can't stand very long. They have difficulty getting in and out of bed, getting in and out of a vehicle. Studies suggest that 30% of lower back pain is coming from the sacroiliac joint. 40% of patients who have previous spinal fusions will develop sacroiliac joint pain. The diagnosis of sacroiliac joint pain has five components. The first component is the history and physical examination. History of back pain with leg pain, worse with sitting, standing, walking, getting out of a chair. The examination showing severe pain in the sacroiliac joint with not any pain localized to the lumbar spine or the hip joint. There's a test called the Fortin finger test. The patients will point to exactly where the pain is. Physical examination, then doing some provocative tests to see if I can reproduce the pain. And then lastly, injection of the sacroiliac joint with local anesthetic to see if it relieves the pain. Treatments for sacroiliac joint pain include rest, should rest fail, addition of non such as ibuprofen, naproxen, and narcotic pain medication on a short-term basis. Should that fail, physical therapy exercises will help. And then use of a sacroiliac joint belt to hold the pelvis together. For those patients which have chronic debilitating pain where non-surgical treatment has not helped, they would now become a candidate for surgical treatment of the sacroiliac joint. At Bluegrass Orthopedics here in Lexington, Kentucky, surgical management of sacroiliac joint pain that has not responded to non-surgical care would involve minimal invasive fusion of the sacroiliac joint. The procedure that I use is the one manufactured through the SI Bone Company. The incision is approximately one inch long, then under x-ray control, I'm able to place three of these small fixation pins into the sacroiliac joint. This immediately stabilizes the sacroiliac joint. There are more than 30 published peer-reviewed articles demonstrating the safety and the effectiveness of the iFuse implant system. The iFuse system is the only SI joint fusion system with clinical studies demonstrating that treatment improves pain, patient function, and quality of life. 90% of patients said they would definitely have it done again. Since 2012, I have done over 350 procedures. The patients continue to have a good result with long-term symptomatic relief of sacroiliac joint pain using the iFuse system.